Jimmy Patsos is with us here on Big Board Sports on 104.5 The Team, ESPN Radio. Good morning, Coach. Roger, I was at the Celtics game on Christmas Day, and when everyone left, they were all saying, we have to defend better and rebound more. So as usual, you are correct. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most coaches will tell you that. I watched your whole Holy Cross game, and I thought you defended. I thought you re- defended against a tough team to defend against because Holy Cross is, runs those darn ball screens and backdoor cuts and everything else. you got to pay close attention. But I thought your ball movement offensively was exceptional. Yeah, that's what's improved. You know, we won a Bryant, played Memphis tough, down 10 nothing to Holy Cross. Really proud of the team because, and, and, you know, you travel to Louisville and Memphis, Rod. You know how those trips are. And we came back, and Holy Cross is up 10 nothing. They made a couple of tough threes, and we just said, keep grinding away, get a, get a few stops, but don't try and do it all yourself. And I thought we shared the ball. All last week, we really shared the ball well, so we have to keep growing on that. And you agree with me when I, when you see, uh, and you've seen him plenty, when, when Nico gets going, man, look out. Yeah, he really did it on the, he started on the defensive end, though. He got a few steals, and that's part of his game. I think people underestimate he's a really good defender, and I try to tell him that. But, you know, it's 2017. They don't, they don't focus on defense as much. But yet, and I hate to keep harping on the NBA. Then I go home and watch the Durant game, and, of course, I walked right into practice yesterday and said, Merry Christmas, here's Kevin Durant, five blocks, clearly focusing on defense, and that's all they talked about was how great a defender he is. And now he may be the best player in the NBA because of his defense. So I said, it's, keep playing D. It's, it's okay. People do recognize it. And one of the best players in the world, which is the NBA. See, I, I'm just talking about the NBA on Christmas because I, I assume most of us watched it. They've done a great job. It was the first game they've had in Boston ever on Christmas Day. I didn't know that, Roger. Wow. They've always played on Christmas. They never had one. So that was my wife's Christmas present was to go see Brad Stevens and them. And then you watched the Warriors-Cavs that night, and while they scored a lot of points, they're talking about Durant's defense. So, yeah, if we play good defense and we share the ball, we got a chance. Now we go to Marist and shoots a lot of threes, and they're a very good offensive team, and it's their home opener, and, but we have to go down there and do everything we can to get a win, and our spirits are good, and we all needed the break, as I'm sure you guys did too. I'm sure Albany needed the break. And now league play starts. Jimmy, you guys in three of your last four games, you've gotten 54, 46, and 47 points off your bench. Have you ever had a, a team like this group where you're so productive and can be explosive off the bench? Not as a group. I've had, you know, I've had a few six man of the year winners in this league, including Nico. And, you know, Ryan Oliver did a great job here off the bench for us. And there were certain guys at, at Loyola that have come off the bench, but never have I seen a group. And it's because, you know, it's not that Nico's leading the group. And, you know, he's playing starters minutes. And one game Evan came off them, but he's really a starter. And then Horns picked it up. You know, Horns turned into that shooter that, you know, what I like about Horn is he's just, it's okay if you shoot the ball, but you got to play a little defense and you got to try to scrap for rebounds or take a charge. And all of a sudden, you got three guys on that team, including Kadeem Smitten, that are really, you know, Kadeem, Nico Claris, and, you know, whether it's Evan Fisher or Prince coming off the bench, that gives us a solid three or four guys off the bench. And they play well as a unit. I had spoke about how they had played well as a unit the last couple of weeks. And Nico's sort of an aberration on it because he's really playing starters right. minutes, but he's. The question is, I'm sure everyone will win. Nico going to start, et cetera. I don't know if he ever starts right now because for sitting for two minutes and having that much productivity as opposed to starting and watching it go down, what's the big difference? You know, and like, you know John Wooden, it's not who starts, it's who, fin- it's who finishes and all that. So, yes, the group is doing great, but they are working as a unit. They work a lot together and practice as a unit, and it is a group thing, and they're sort of, they're sort of grabbing onto that and thriving on it because I've never had a group score that many points. Yeah, and I, the the whole ball movement thing and, and sharing the ball is really what I noticed most about your team on Friday against Holy Cross. Uh, how about the freshman coach? Are you uh, do you see progress in that freshman group? Because that's what this season is all about, right? You don't have you don't have seniors. You have young. You have a very young team. A lot of freshmen that you're bringing along, looking to get better and better and better. Are you happy with their progress over the last couple of weeks? Oh, I'm proud of the freshmen. By the way, our grades just came in. I can't really tell you what they got, but they all did very well. And yes, Horn learned his lesson, you know, in, in terms of, okay, I, I can't just shoot the ball, i got to do more. Then he shot the ball well. Prince had a bad foot, but he's learned, as you guys all you know from traveling with, with the Great Danes, that 
there's going to be bumps and bruises, and you have to at some point decide to play through the, you know, not the, I would never have a guy play injured, but there's a difference, and you guys know this, than being injured and just being banged up, because everybody's banged up, you know. Look, we all play tough schedules. But the leader is Penn. You know, Roman Penn's out there playing 29 minutes is the lowest he's played this year. I think he's really averaging like 37 minutes. Now, he was a little tired in the Holy Cross game. But that being said, Penn's just out there. He rebounds. He does a lot of dirty work, and he doesn't want to give up any minutes or any spot because he feels like the team needs him. But he's getting a little tired, so those three days were off. And we all know freshmen hit the wall. Look, high school basketball is what it is. They don't play that many games that matter until, you know, there's a few games here or there that matters, and then it comes into the plus. Every game matters. They're playing really hard. We went to Montreal, and they played really hard. So there's some there's some miles on them, but my point was to the team yesterday. That's great. You got three days off. We will take some days off during this year, but for the next two months, you just have to tough it out. And everyone's doing it. And by the way, the NBA is in a grind right now. You know, everybody's benches. Everybody's looking down the bench for that next guy that can help them. And the starters out here, or a guy's missing a game there. And the the point to the young guys was you're doing really well. We're really doing well. But no one's going to feel sorry, and no one knows. Everybody's got miles on them now, and, and, and the part of the deal is those 40 minutes, you have to really kind of suck it up. And, and if you're a little banged up or you hit the floor hard, you got to get up and keep going. And Penn is the leader of that. This guy's all over the place. He's diving. He's rebounding. He's doing all the little things. He's running the offense. And so when, you, when your point guard's a freshman, then Horn falls into line, and Prince sees what he's doing, going to see if Bentley can fight his way back in there, and Campers just sort of trying to learn how hard it is to play, but it's it's Penn's leading that young group, and I couldn't be more proud of him. What a, he's doing a great job. Hey Jimmy, finally matchup with Maris uh, favorable, right? The hoops are always about matchups. Do you like do you like your matchup going to Maris on Friday night? Well, we have to get to the glass against them, but like I said, it's their home opener on the MAC. Everybody's zero and zero. Everybody has that renewed spirit, and it's it's at their place. But we already have a lot of fans going down, and I've got a lot of support from fans here and. Some people that I know are coming from New York because it's like the halfway mark. And our fans have always carried us down there. It's a rivalry game, but they shoot the three. They're going to spread you out. They play a variation like Holy Cross of the Princeton offense. And you have to def- you have to defend the three point line and hold them to one shot. And then we have to run on them. But we're just excited. I'm sort of Roger and you've been through this before. We've cut down on the scouting and said let's worry about what we do, which is like you said, share the ball learn that we can switch a lot on defense. Kadeem Smitten gives us a lot of options. He's playing sort of a 3-4 hybrid for us, but he gives us a lot of options, a ball handler, but he's rebounding. And if we rebound as a group, we got a chance. And now begins a new journey, and I couldn't be more proud. Like I said, they won by 20 on the road at Bryan. It's hard to win on the road, as you know. We Memphis, we're tied. We didn't get a loose ball. We could have won that game. And then, you know, grind it out against the good Holy Cross team. And I thought the crowd was great against Holy Cross, thanks to the fans and that's that's all you could ask for, and now we go into league play, and here it comes down to every three days there's going to be a game, and the standings are going to move every couple of days, and this is, this is our level league. And I think the league's wide open. I think there's some really good teams. You know, Ryder is like the surprise of the league. I haven't really watched them, but I own the defending champs. We know they can play in Monmouth, as you saw, because they beat Albany, which is no easy feat. It's 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 going to be a challenging league, but I also think it's it's wide open, and we're very excited to start league play. Well, Coach, we wish you nothing but the best of luck and uh, Happy New Year. I'm, I'm actually practicing with my uh, travel basketball team tomorrow. I already got my February game scheduled when you play Hurley, Dan. Yeah, I don't worry. Circle. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be ready for that. But here's my, here's my, I need some advice. These young kids are 10. They haven't practiced uh, in over a week. Should I run them hard tomorrow for an hour? You know, what's funny. We did it last night, and instead of running, we played, but we kind of played mini games. We pressed. I kind of just threw them back out into game situations because they all dreaded we're going to do all this running. And instead, I, I kind of make it like full court basketball. So they're running, but they're still playing. That's what we do. All right. You uh, trick them. You, know? you fool them. Hey, I can't <laughs> wait to get back in the studio. I miss you guys. I'm sorry about all the phone calls. So I can't wait to get back in. All right. We appreciate it, Coach. Good luck at Maris. Right, we'll be paying New attention. Year. Happy you New Year, guys. Jimmy. Thank Thanks, you, man. Coach. Happy New Year to Coach Patsos, Siena Men's Basketball.